What's up? This is Jake with Hike 734, hiking to Dunanda Falls in the Beckler area of Yellowstone National Park. And this hike starts out over at the Beckler Ranger Station, follows the Beckler Meadows Trail for a little bit, then the Boundary Creek Trail, and it works its way all the way up to Dunanda Falls. And then I came back down with the Beckler Meadows Cutoff Trail so I could go ahead and come up to the Beckler Meadows Trail all the way out to make it a quasi loop. And um, anyways, yeah, started out pretty early this morning and um, at the old Beckler Ranger Station and crossed over Wyoming Creek and went straight ahead kind of to the left. And uh, yeah, just cruised through the flat forest that you get in there and um, saw a lot of grouse today. I think I counted like 10 grouse today. And um, so got to see one a little bit early and uh, otherwise I'll show you one later. I can't remember if I got this one or not. But anyways, um, yeah, just kind of cruised through there. It's basically, um, for the first mile and a half, trees with little sparse meadows here and there. And then you come to the junction of the Boundary Creek Trail. And I took that for two miles along uh, just forests with pocket meadows once again, a few more meadows. And this follows along a bench, so it goes up and down a little bit. But the nice thing is it keeps you out of the um, marshiness. So that's really nice. And then also what I've kind of found is the meadows don't seem to have very many wildlife this time of year, but the only animals that I've seen are like this mule deer um, in the forest. So anyways, that was cool. And you definitely start to see more and more meadows until you drop down to your first technical crossing, which is Bartlett Slough. And this time of year, it's um, low enough to ford. Earlier, it might be much deeper, um, but thankfully there was a little log that I was able to scamper across. So that saved me one early, early morning cold ford. And then from there, um, you're down at the meadow level. So you spend a lot of time kind of go bouncing in and out of the forest and the meadows, which is really um, just just nice. It's really nice to kind of bounce between those. And it was just such a beautiful morning in the fall, which I just absolutely love to hike. And then finally got to my first real where I had to cross. And that was over um, the Boundary Creek itself. And um, the crossing wasn't too bad, a bit chilly. But um, from there, um, you just kind of, you leave the creek just a little bit here and you um, go through Beckler Meadows, which are just super pretty. and. Um, you actually, if you turn around, you can kind of um, see the Tetons. And then eventually you come back into the forest and it's really cool because it's forest on your right and it's uh, Boundary Creek on your left. So it's just a really nice, um, cool forest with lots of different kinds of trees. And yeah, it's just really pretty in there. And then um, from there, then you come out into this, uh, there's another creek crossing here, but there's another log across this one. And, uh, and then just, from here, it just really kind of opens up into a younger a lodgepole forest um, and meadows. And you can really see the foothills um, that are just really popping with colors this time of year. And um, in one of those little drainages, that is where you get Denonda Falls. And um, yeah, so there is, but the first fall you actually come to is a little bonus fall called Silver Scarf. And um, you cross the, uh, the creek like three times that comes out of Dunanda Falls. And it doesn't look like that way on your map or on my GPS. So just note to oneself, the first one I got lucky with the log, the other two um, had a look like a more of a permanent log crossing. So anyways, all awesome and uh, just really pretty area there. And finally you get up to the cutoff for Dunanda Falls. And I went to Silver Scar first cause it was right there. and. Um, you walk up the trail a little bit and then you break away from it in just like some social trails and I kind of scrambled around a little bit to get some really pretty views. Um, it's definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more, um, you know, thin, but it's actually really tall and decently wide and very beautiful. And um, anyways, from there, I went over to the in two tenths of a mile over to not to Dunanda Falls. And that fall is fantastic. It's definitely taller than um, the few of the other falls that I've been to in this area. So um, really nice. The only problem with it is the real great view is a sketchy scramble on the side of the mountain, but um, it's definitely worth it. And uh, I had a snack there and then um, just enjoy the fall. And then I also went up and saw a couple of other views from above it and uh, via some other social trails. So really, really pretty. And then worked my way back and took the Beckler um, 
cut Beckler Meadows cutoff trail. Um, and then uh, just kind of worked my way through the Beckler Meadows. Um, but at first, actually, the, the meadow starts out just kind of through some trees. And then um, after quite a bit of trees, you end up popping out into the meadows, which uh, on a very sunny day like it is today in the afternoon, it started to get a little toasty and definitely mucky. Um, and this is for all the meadows in here. Um, they're basically wetlands. And so you're going to come across a lot of places where this time of year, you're able to avoid all of them. Um, but I think that earlier in the season, you're definitely going to have wet feet or something. So just know that. And I'm guessing in July, the mosquitoes and flies are atrocious. But anyways, joined up with the Beckler Meadows Trail and uh, headed south. And just um, and one of the things also is right on that Beckler Cutoff Trail, you can see the top of Oozle Falls, which is a little bonus. Then you uh, work your way into some trees and then back out into some open meadows again. And then you're kind of walking along these uh, little streams that have no name and then Finally, after bouncing between the trees and the meadows, you get to Boundary Creek again, but this time, as opposed to last time that I did it, there's a, there's a, a little swinging bridge. So crossed over that, and that's when you get into the, the trees again in the Beckler Meadows Trail. And this is, um, once again, just like it is at the beginning all the way through. It's uh, mostly trees with some little pocket meadows. And uh, once again, I got to see another mule deer doe. So that was fun. But anyways, now I'm just working my way back and uh, along the Beckler Meadows Trail here in the trees. And that is a big day. It's actually not too bad. It's uh, about 16 miles total. Um, Dunand Falls is pretty spectacular. You just have to determine if the meadows and, and whatnot are nice. There is a little bit of elevation right up towards the um, the waterfalls, but other than that, it's pretty dang flat. So it's a, it's not a difficult 16 miles, but it is 16 miles for um, a very fantastic waterfall. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking to Dunanda Falls in the Beckler area of Yellowstone National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.